Thank you very much. Uh, I hope nobody has any tomatoes out there. <laughs> My name is Michael Rabinowitz. Rabinowitz. Uh, I'm an attorney for the Transit Authority, as just said. Um, by getting up here, uh, I didn't have to pay the cover charge that most of you, all of you, had today. I already know what you're thinking. Doesn't want to pay the cover charge. <laughs> a lawyer named Rabinowitz. <laughs> Probably Protestant, right? <laughs> no, I'm Jewish. Um, I uh, I actually didn't go to uh, a Jewish high school. There was only a, a few Jew, only a few Jews at my, at my high school. Um, the uh, my last name Rabinowitz. Probably gonna say that 20 times to the set. Uh, my first, the first four letters of Rabinowitz, R A B I. Uh, my nickname, of course, was Rabbi. <laughs> Rabbi Rabinowitz. Uh, it actually wasn't that bad of a nickname um, compared to some other of the few Jews that were out there. I remember Scott Jewstein, uh, <laughs> and they called him the Jew. Uh, Kevin Schmuckler. <laughs> All right, you know what they called him. <laughs> Harry Heberg, they called him a he. <laughs> I don't even want to tell you what they call Danny Kaikman. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I take things too far sometimes. My brother always tells me, you just take it too far. You got to stop, take things too far. You would have been a great rapist. <laughs> but, uh, I think I just took it too far again. I've never raped anybody. My wife is sitting next to my sister. She <laughs> attest to that. Um, I, uh, I go for Gottfried up here with my... Are the lights on? I, uh, I actually wanted to get the, uh, the old Jew crew back together. Juicy and Heberg. And, um, you know, it's been a long time since high school. So I didn't know where they lived. Uh, I went on uh, Google.com. I tried to get their information. I, uh, anybody use Google when you Google yourself or anybody else? No, I'm not not supporting Google or anything like that. But uh, yeah, in order to find out who they were, I Googled them. Or I guess in this case, I Jugled them. <laughs> but uh, it just doesn't sound right when I say I, I Jugled Harry Heber. It sounds like I fondled his balls. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just had to say balls when I got I mean, I, you'll see, I'm a fairly vulgar person, but it's just, I don't know what it is about Brooklyn, but there must have been a teacher out there or something, because my mom, yes, I said balls in my mom and my same sense. It's kind of wrong, too. Don't tell mom, Joe. Um, what was I saying? Yes, uh, balls. I just, I wanted to get up here and say balls. But, uh, you know, you say balls, balls, balls. My mom, with her Brooklyn accent, actually says it like this. She'll say to me, you got a lot of balls for imitating me. And uh, you know, I really, I shouldn't be making fun of my mom or my, or my dad. They're actually going through a fairly rough time right now. They're, um, they're victims of Bernie Madoff. Bernie Madoff stole some money from them. Um, I don't know if any of you know, I'm gonna give you a brief lesson on Bernie Madoff. The guy stole $60 billion. And this guy was a real, piece of shit. Not because his initials BM are the same as bowel movement, which is also a piece of shit. But the guy stole from investors, charities, all these organizations, and uh, it was really at a time when Americans needed their money the most. And the ironic part is, he would have been a national hero if he stole from Al-Qaeda, or some terrorist organization, uh, or the Nazi party. Fuck the Nazi party, says the Jew. <laughs> or even if he stole from Donald Trump, we wouldn't give a shit about that. He'd be like, Bernie, you're fired. Bernie would be like, yeah, you're poor. <laughs> I'm not giving it back. But, um, yeah, I kind of cheated. To <laughs> This hand, I'm a righty, so this hand is perfect. I don't know what the fuck it says on this hand. And it's shaking. 
You guys are making me nervous. Can you all turn around? I'll finish. I don't know what the fuck this is. I'll move on. No, you want to know what it says? Parents. 